First thing you want to decide is, you know, what variable do you want to eliminate? Do you want to eliminate the X's? Do you want to eliminate the Y's? Do you want to eliminate the Z's? Well, what we're going to do is we're just going to pick one of the variables. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Sometimes one is easier to eliminate than another. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, eliminate the X's. So you can see here, if we add the first and second equation together, we get X plus negative X is zero. So those cancel one another out. 2Y plus 1Y is 3Y. Negative Z plus 4Z is positive 3Z. And 5 plus 10 is 15. So all we did was add the two equations together, the first and second equation. But we want to use all three equations. So a mistake sometimes students uh, you know, do is they, they forget that they have to use all three. So we want to combine this third equation with the second one or with the first one. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to combine it with the middle one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this whole equation by 2. And the reason is, as you'll see in just a moment, I'm going to get negative 2x when I add that to this one, that the positive 2x, those are going to cancel. So we get negative 2x plus 2y plus 8z is equal to 20. And if we just bring this equation over, 2x minus y plus z equals 1, you can see if we add straight down, the x's are canceling out now because one's negative, one's positive. We get positive y plus 9z equals 21. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this equation over here, and now we're down to a system of two equations with two variables. So all we have to do now is pick a variable to eliminate, either the y's or the z's. So in this case, I'm going to eliminate the y's, and what I'm going to do is, because this is 3y, I'm going to multiply this whole equation times negative 3. So if we just distribute that negative 3, make sure you do it to the left middle of the right, the entire equation, we get negative 3y minus 27z, is equal to negative 63. Now if we add these two equations together, you can see that the 3y and the negative 3y, those cancel. 3z minus 20z, 27z is negative 24z, and 15 minus 63 is how much? Let's do that on the calculator. So we've got negative 63 plus 15, which is negative 48. Okay, so that's down to one variable, one equation. All we have to do now is divide both sides by negative 24, and you can see that z is equal to 2. So we went from three variables, three equations, down to two variables, two equations, down to one variable, one equation. Now what we want to do is we want to work our way backwards. We're going to uh, do back substitution. So if z equals 2, you can put it either in for this z or this z. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it into this one equation here. So we have 3y plus 3. Instead of z, I'm going to put 2 in, equals 15. And that comes out to 6 plus 3y equals 15. If I subtract 6 from both sides, that gives us 9. Okay. And if we divide both sides by 3, you can see that y is equal to 3. Now all we have to do, we've got y and z, is we can put it back into one of the original equations that has three variables and solve for x. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into this top equation here. This is x plus 2 times y, which is 3, minus z, which is 2, and that equals 5. So let's just simplify here. We've got x plus 6 minus 2 equals 5. 6 minus 2 is 4. And if I subtract 4 from both sides, I get x equals 1. So our final solution we want to write as a triple, and it looks like this. It's uh, x comma y comma z, but in this case it's going to be 1, 3, and 2. So it's just alphabetical order, and that's your solution. Now if you want to check your work, all you have to do is put it back in for each one of these equations for x, y, and z, and you should get 5, 10, and 1. So if it makes all the equations true, you know this is the uh, common solution for all three equations. So if you want to know more about solving systems of equations or you want more practice, check out the video right there. I'm going to have three equations, three variables. I'm going to have three examples that you can practice on your own, or you can see some more uh, how I would approach those. So check out that video there. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.